the Anycubic Mega Zero. This is uh, approximately five months into its working life, and uh, it's still going pretty strong. I have switched back to PLA uh, because ABS is just, it's, it's too hard to print. Even though I've got a heated bed now, thanks to this, this mat here. Uh, it's it doesn't get hot enough for ABS. ABS will still curl up, and uh, I mean I can print like really small things, and it's not too bad. But uh, and plus ABS, I mean it's it's really stinky. You know it, it it's there's just a lot of drawbacks to it. So got to print it at a higher temperature too, of course, and uh. So I decided just to switch back to PLA. Uh, it's just much easier to print. But other than that, it seems like it's doing okay. Um, there are tricks that you can do if you want to print ABS. Uh, like some people use hairspray on the bed to get it to stick. But uh, I'm just going to stick with PLA for a while. I've still got like two spools of ABS that, you know, I'll, I'll probably do something with it. You know, I'll probably do some more prints with it. But uh, for the majority of my prints, I'm just, I'm just going to stick with PLA. It's just so much easier. You know, the prints turn out uh, really good, really decent. This, this is a good, you know, this is a connector I printed. It's, quality's really good. It's PLA. Now, if it was ABS, more than likely it, you know, one side would be curled up because uh, I've got this bed heated to, it's about 100 degrees, so, which is good for PLA, but for ABS, it's not hot enough. If I could uh, heat the bed up to like probably 200 degrees, then my prints with ABS would be better. But I don't see that happening because this bed was was meant to be heated up anyway. I'm just you know if you've seen any of my previous videos, I'm just uh, I figured out a way to do it really cheap for about 30 bucks. If you're going to do it quote, right, I mean, you probably spend like hundred, two hundred dollars you know, or you might as well just buy another printer with a, with a heated bed built to print ABS. So, I mean, you know, if that's what you want to do, uh, you're better off just probably buying a 3D printer for about four or five hundred dollars to print ABS. I'm cheap, okay? So, <laughs> I like the, uh, the Mega Zero. Uh, it's a, it's a pretty strong little printer. It's, I use it quite a bit, and it just it keeps going, you know. Uh, like I've said before, you know, I'm, the print bed it suffered this gash here, but doesn't it doesn't really affect it. it. It's still going. So that's an update on the Mega Zero. I'm still happy with it. Keep on printing. Talk to you guys later.